Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to use font glyphs on a Mac using FontBook. All right, let's get started. Now, first I wanna show you an example of what I mean by font glyphs. This text here is a version of the Andalusia font without any glyphs being used. And this is what it'll look like if you just type it in like normal. Now I want to let you know that not all fonts come with glyphs. So if you're trying to follow along, you'll need to find a font that actually has glyphs in it. I've got another layer here in my Photoshop file. Um, this is the same font with glyphs applied. So you get all these extra little swirls and swooshes that come off of the font. And this is just a really great way to make your font look custom or hand drawn. All right, so I'm going to download the font just to show you the process. I'm here in Font Bundles, and I'm going to search for Andalusia font. And there's a link in the description, so you can just click on that, and it'll take you right to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and download the font. I actually already have this downloaded. So I've gone to my name and then Purchases, and that has brought me to this page. And now I can just download files. And I'm going to choose the one that ends in OTF right here. So I'll click on that and then it'll open right down here in the bottom left of my browser. And I'm using Chrome, so that's why I'm able to see it here. All right, now I'm gonna click on this little carrot and choose Show in Finder. And that'll bring me to my Downloads section. And the font itself is right here, so I'm gonna double click this and then just Install. All right, now I'm going to open Photoshop. Since it's a font, you can really use any program. I'm going to go ahead and create new. And I'll just come up here to the top, choose print, and then letter. And we'll create. All right, now I'm going to go through the process of just adding some text. So I'll hit T on my keyboard for the text tool. And then I'll just type some text. And now I'm going to highlight my text and change my font. And obviously it's really, really small. So I'll get back on my move tool. I'll hit command T to transform this. And now I'll just grab a handle, hold shift and resize it. All right, now we have our Andalusia font and it's spelling Andalusia. Next, I'm going to hit command spacebar to open up the spotlight search. And let's type in font book. I'll choose that. And then I'm going to find Andalusia in my list. And you can change your size to view more letters or less. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 50 also. Then we'll scroll through all of these characters to find the glyphs that we're looking for. And with this font, they're at the bottom. And here they are. Now it looks like we have two choices for the A. I'm going to choose this one and I'll copy it with Command C. We'll go back to Photoshop, hit T on the keyboard and click to highlight the A only, and then I'm going to paste with Command V. Now we'll do the same thing with the N. The lowercase letters are down a little further. It looks like we have three options for the N. I like this one, so I'm going to copy that. I'll highlight this and paste. And that just really fits beautifully under the D. Now I'll highlight the D, go back to Fontbook, and I'm going to choose this one. I'll copy it, highlight the D, and paste it in. And by the way, if you're switching between open programs, you can always hit Command Tab to switch to the next one. I like this one, copy that, and paste. A lot of times when I'm doing this, I play around with a lot of the different glyphs just to see which ones I like the best. I'm going to go ahead and skip the S and the I, and I'll use something for the A. I think this one. All right, and that's it. So be on the lookout for fonts with glyphs because they really help to give you a nice customized feeling for your fonts. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.